Hi, my name is Dylan Shaw. It starts before you get out. You can't expect things to magically change as soon as you get out. So you need to take responsibility. We need to take responsibility for pursuing those connections before we get out. So if you see prison fellowship in the facility, go ask to talk to volunteers, talk to field directors, talk to personnel, ask them if there are ways that you can be involved in programming, be connected, ask volunteers if you can connect with their churches. If there is no prison fellowship program, ask the chaplain. If there are local churches that you can write to, ask the chaplain if he can connect you to ministries or organizations. Upon release, pursue those relationships. Go to churches, visit churches, ask if you can talk to leadership. We have to take responsibility for this. Take responsibility for developing those relationships. Don't expect people to come to you and uh, lead you in those relationships. You need, I need, we need to take responsibility to develop those pro-social relationships because you know, and I know, that certain kinds of relationships lead us back to crime and certain relationships lead us away from crime. So pursue the godly social, pro-social relationships that you can to walk in the right path and stay out of prison. Specifically ask for and receive accountability. And now this is probably one of the key factors in my successful reentry uh, from far before I even got out of prison. God brought mentors into my life who I would ask regularly, please tell me when you think I'm doing something wrong. Please tell me when you see something in me because I might not see it. And that's something we all deal with, blind spots. So ask for accountability. Ask people to tell you the truth, to be ruthlessly honest and be ruthlessly honest with yourself. Hold yourself to the highest expectation. You also need to cultivate the right attitude. And this once again starts before you even get out of prison. Cultivate or build uh, an attitude of service. Be a servant, be a steward. Don't seek to be served, seek to serve. That's what Jesus said in Mark 10, 45. Seek to serve. And so you and I need to guard against entitlement. If I'm seeking to be a servant, I'm not gonna expect people to give me whatever I want. I'm going to offer what I have to them. And lastly, be realistic and flexible. Rarely does it happen according to your plan when you get out. And if you hold too tightly, you might end up missing God's plan. So be realistic and be, be flexible. Don't expect things to happen exactly as you want. Don't expect everything to unfold and just be dropped into your hands. Expect difficulty, expect opposition, and expect that you're gonna have to push through obstacles to reintegrate successfully into society. The right relationships, the right attitudes, and the right mentality, and you will have success.